Greetings family, it's your boy Spizzy Farai, the Fresh King. And I'm back, back, back with some dopeness and freshness to talk about. If you into getting fresh, fly, funky, jiggy, dripping, dope, wicked, style, pizzazz, je ne sais quoi, then this right here is a book that you must, must have in your collection for all polo life heads and all low life heads. This is a beautiful book right here to have. This book just kind of give you some history about the polo crew and how they came up and just showing you some wicked dope pieces from back in the days in the 90s, how we got it in back in Brooklyn. For many people that don't know, I grew up in Brooklyn in the Crown Heights area. I went to IS390, which was not too far from where the Low Life crew originally, um, originally were from. So, you know, I would see them a lot after school and my passing, just hanging out, looking heavy with the low, heavy with the low. And of course, me and my homies were little shorties at the time, so we couldn't really get down with the get down. But, you know, we seen it and we grew a love and a passion for this polo thing, you know what I mean? It's just a mean book right here. I suggest you guys get it. I don't want to show y'all too much of it. The brother Thurston Howell right there, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, the Ralphie kids, yeah. Now, I went to 390, and my school was right close to St. John's and Utica. This is where the low lives originally congregated and came up at in that neighborhood area right there, St. John's and Utica. That wasn't too far from my junior high school and that's where I learned about the low lives. And me and my, you know, my friends would see them all the time. And I was always a person that was into fashion. So I was into fashion since the first grade. This is what people even understand. The first time I seen the Air Jordan 7 with the Bugs Bunnies on them, the Bugs Bunny commercial of Michael Jordan, and I seen those on somebody's feet, I couldn't stop looking at it. And I understood the meaning of freshness from then on. And every time I would come through the hood and see the drug dealers dressed, looking certain type of ways, I already knew what time it was. And I kind of got my idea for looking at them and my, and my taste for style from looking at the dudes in the hood chilling on the block and the things that they wore. And I would have my own mindset on what style really was, you know? But just seeing the low lives, and we were just little shorties, we couldn't get involved. I was too scared to run up in stores and boost and steal. But we would buy things from people that would do their, you know, do their little one-twos or whatever the case may be. And we would we would trade pieces and do stuff like that coming up in my era to make sure that we, kept, that we had the freshest and we had our own little fresh crew. So we was like the little baby low crew that came up very heavy Tilden High School era. It was just mean back in the 90s. And that's where my love for this polo thing come from. This did not just start with me. This has been going on for many years with me since junior high school. High school is when I really got crazy with it. And it's always been part of a lifestyle for me. It's not just a fashion for me, but it's a lifestyle. And if you really love getting fresh, getting jiggy, getting dope, getting fly, dripping, then yeah, this low life book is a is a must to read and a must to check out. I'm gonna move on over here right now. This is another of my favorite books right here called Back in the Days. And this book is just mean right here. This book just give you a nice photographic image of what the style and the freshness was like back in the early 80s, like 70, this is like 79, 80 right here, where everybody was just like, everything was just like a Pumas and Adidas, and you can see like the Sherlin coats, and this is how the mind was cutting it sharp with the fat laces and the Pumas, and it was just fresh, you know? So if you're really into, into fashion and, and, and you really have a love for getting fresh and, and, and um, understanding the history of fashion and why we like to flash and why we like the pizzazz and why we the way we are. I mean, you could go back to Ayala Selassie, his majesty days and watch him with his drip, you know what I mean? The way he dripped with his crown and his gown and his gold and his rubies and such. And this is the answer, this is where we come from, man. You know what I mean? Getting fly always made us feel good and always built our self-esteem. Living in the ghettos and living in the hood, we always had something to aspire to when we could come out and get fresh and look just like the people that were living in those rich, affluent communities that we could pull off and, you know, rock the same things that they was wearing just to get the vibe and the feeling of, you know, equality through fashion, you know? And this is where this became my love, man. So if you're really into fashion, flashing, splash, 
pizzazz, freshness, dopeness, drip, then you definitely need to check out this Low Life book. And you definitely need to check out Back in the Days. These two books here, Wicked, Mean, two of my favorite books in my collection that I constantly refer back to. And I always, you know, two of my favorite books in my collection. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you guys ever come across these books, definitely cop them. Yo, this is your boy, The Far Right, a.k.a. The Fresh King, saying peace, love, and prosperity. Yeah. Thank you.